Good morning, class six. Myself Ranjit Kumar. I welcome you all in the e-learning program of Modern English School, Kunti Nagar, Nawada. This is the third video lecture of the chapter component of food. Till in first two video we have discussed about different component of food. There are four, seven component of food: carbohydrate, fat, vitamin, minerals, protein. Rafis means fiber and water. So in that we have till now we have discussed about carbohydrate and protein, and later we have discussed about fat and vitamins. So there are three tests is there test for the presence of carbohydrate that is starch, test for the presence of the protein, and after that we have seen test for the presence of fat. In today's video, after vitamins, we are going to discuss about minerals. Like vitamins, minerals are also essential by our body in a small quantity, and it is also called protective food because it keep our body healthy. There are different minerals, and those are sodium, potassium, phosphorus, iodine, iron, iron, calcium. So different minerals are there, and different minerals are essential by our body for different function. For example, iron. Iron is needed by our body for blood formation. If there is lack of iron in your body, that will lead to a disease called anemia. Likewise, the um, iodine. Iodine is also a mineral that is required by our body in a small quantity. And if there is iodine is lacking in our food, that will lead to a disease called goiter. So these minerals we have to see individually. Okay. So let's see what are minerals. Minerals are also called protective food because because it help our body to remain healthy it is also required in small quantity like vitamins so different minerals are different minerals are sodium potassium iron iodine calcium Phosphorus. These are the example of different minerals. See one by one the function of different minerals. Calcium and phosphorus is essential for. Formation of teeth and bones. So, calcium and phosphorus is essential for formation of teeth and bones. Source source of calcium and phosphorus: milk, egg, cheese. Pulses, etc. These are the example of means source of calcium and phosphorus. Next is iron. Iron is essential.
essential for iron is essential for blood formation lack or you can say deficiency deficiency मतलब कमी deficiency of iron in our body cause anemia anemia is the name of a disease source source of iron green leafy vegetable green leafy vegetable eggs peas liver etc these are the source of iron next is iodine it is necessary for keeping body healthy deficiency of iodine cause goiter goiter is a name of disease okay source source of iodine is iodized salt fish seafood okay so these are the minerals minerals like vitamins mineral is also required by our body in small quantity so everything is explained here next is fibers so this was the fifth one this is the sixth one means the sixth component of the food फाइबर डू नॉट हैव एनी न्यूट्रिटिव वैल्यू मीन्स ये कोई न्यूट्रिशन नहीं है ये मेरे बॉडी को कोई न्यूट्रिशन नहीं दे रहा जिस प्रकार कार्बोहाइड्रेट एनर्जी देता है प्रोटीन बॉडी बिल्डिंग में मदद करता है विटामिन और मिनरल्स बॉडी को प्रोटेक्ट करता है सो रफेज डू नॉट हैव एनी न्यूट्रिटिव वैल्यू बट इट हेल्प इन प्रॉपर डाइजेशन ऑफ द फूड it prevent constipation constipation means kabjiyat so sometimes you will have problem you will feel like you have to go to the washroom but you cannot get your stomach clear this is called constipation so this fiber is also called roughes it prevent constipation it help in proper digestion of the food and it also help in removal of undigested food from your body so it is also called roughes it do not have nutritive value but perform following function in our body kaun kaun sa function provide for ye karta hai first it help help in proper digestion of food second it prevent constipation and third it help 
to get rid get rid मतलब होता है छुटकारा पाना it help to get rid of undigested food so i will read one second it is also called roughage it do not have any nutritive value but it perform following function in our body first it help in proper digestion of the food it prevent constipation and it help to get rid of undigested food so proper clearance of your stomach is due to this fiber or the roughage source we will see wait okay the sources of fiber is cabbage carrot apple wheat rice peas etc so these are the source of fiber means from this food item such as cabbage carrot apple wheat rice and peas we get fiber so we have seen minerals and fiber last one is the seventh one is water you know what is water water we cannot survive more than a week without water so we cannot imagine life without water and the source of water we get water from the liquid that we drink for example milk tea or even water whenever we drink water from these liquids we get water in our body water also comes to our body with fruits and vegetables fresh vegetables fruits for example watermelon it have lots of water so it add water to our body next is what function do the water perform water water help in transporting or moving substance within the body hamare body mein digestion kahan hota hai digestion hota hai stomach mein aur small intestine mein aur wahan se nutrient transport hota hai pure body mein to ye transport kaun karta hai blood karta hai aur blood mein kya hai water ke karan liquid form liquid part of the blood is actually water only so water also help to transport substance within the body from one place to another water also help in absorbing nutrient from the food food mein se nutrient absorb karna ye bhi kaam water ke dwara hi hota hai water also help us to throw waste from our body in the form of urine and sweat स्वेट और यूरिन के रूप में हमारे बॉडी से वेस्ट जो बाहर निकलता है वो भी लिक्विड के रूप में निकलता है और उसमें मैक्सिमम अमाउंट वाटर का ही होता है वाटर आल्सो रेगुलेट द बॉडी टेम्परेचर मींस इट मेंटेन्स कांस्टेंट बॉडी टेम्परेचर सो दीज आर द फोर फंक्शन ऑफ द वाटर सो वाट इज वाटर एन एडल्ट cannot survive without water more than a week ek sapta se zyada hum log pani ke bina survive nahi kar sakte hain so we get water from liquid that we drink like means like milk tea and water we also get water from fruits and fresh vegetables
वेजिटेबल्स ओके वाटर परफॉर्म फॉलोइंग फंक्शन फर्स्ट इट हेल्प टू मूव मीन्स ट्रांसपोर्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट इट हेल्प टू मूव सबस्टांस विद इन द बॉडी सेकेंड इट हेल्प टू एब्सॉर्ब न्यूट्रिएंट फ्रॉम फूड थर्ड इट हेल्प हेल्प टू थ्रो वेस्ट आउट from our body in the form of urine and sweat means it helps to throw waste out from our body in the form of urine and sweat fourth it also help to maintain constant body temperature so these are the four function that is performed by the water so by this we have completed all the seven component of food so in today's video we have discussed about minerals different type of minerals why it is called protective food what are the source of different minerals after that we have seen fiber we have seen fibers fibers are not having nutritive value but it help in proper digestion of food throwing waste out of the body and it prevent constipation after that we have seen water we get water from the liquid that we drink and the fruit and the fresh vegetables that we eat the function of water include it regulate body temperature it help in absorption of nutrient from the food it also help in moving substance within the body and one more point it also help in throwing waste out of the body in the form of urine and sweat with this we have completed all the seven component of food after this we will see uh, balanced diet what is balanced diet what is balanced diet is how balanced diet is different from different organism is different individual we will see a different type of diseases that happens due to lack of one or more nutrient that is called deficiency disease okay thank you